Well, the whole nature of a mussel is that they're in beds. So you've got male and female mussels. When you've got enough plankton and the water's temperature is high enough, they will spawn. And all those gametes go into the plankton layer. And for three weeks, they go in and out with the tides and they may land anywhere. But mostly, they like to land close to the coast. And when that seedbed lands, it all lands together. And we go and try and find it. And you never know where it's going to be. And then it's a race between us, the storms and the starfish, to collect it and put it somewhere safe. And all we do, actually, is take the mussels from where they've landed naturally and put them somewhere where they're going to be able to grow to their full potential because 99% of all mussels get eaten by starfish or smashed up by storms. So they're, they're, they're a bit like the codfish, which can produce 8 million young. You know, a, a female mussel can produce 6 million eggs over its lifetime. And nearly all of those will, will dissipate, be eaten, be smashed up, and, and be wasted. And so we're just giving nature a hand. I like to think of it as, um, as uh, intervening without interfering. So we're just helping them along.